Okay, welcome to Africa. At least Sandy and my version of Africa, where it rains all the time. <laughs> Again. <laughs> my PH here, Clint Gower, Wild Horizon. Clint, we are chasing Niala. Mainly Niala now. We're hoping to find them in the thick, thick valley beyond us. Maybe even that water buck. I never know what we could find in this place. We take a look out around here, the cliffs, the baboons, the, the incredible thick stuff. This is where the Nyala live. This, this morning he sent a text to, uh, to Guy about uh, some of the, the supplies that we needed. And he says, bring beer and bring sunshine. And if you don't bring sunshine, bring more beer. <laughs> So, we're going for a little stroll and we're looking for Nyala, waterbuck. Nyala, maybe waterbuck. It's a nice little flat valley that you can see into. You can see some openings in the bushes. So, so a lot like our, our white-tailed deer, they like the edges. They don't walk out in the middle of the Nyala. Nyala, yeah. He likes the thick stuff. We're just hoping to catch him on an edge somewhere, okay. moving from one patch to another. And this is one area, a little valley that they do move in. They like moving up and down this little valley. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. forage a little bit in the evenings and stuff so he's hoping to catch one on his way back into the thick at the moment so it's not so much that they like to be in in quite this open it's just that we get the chance to see them here they, they prefer to stay right in the thick they prefer to stay right in the thick but they got to come out to eat okay yeah. and what do they eat trees they're chiefly browsers they're they? chiefly browsers it's yeah. not not grass they have main nibble on some fresh grass but that's all okay Otherwise, it's, it's trees mostly. Okay, we're bothering those kudus. They're moving now. Yeah, those big ears are probably picking us up. Yeah. Oh. This is Niala country. These uh, big river breaks, the steep cliffs, the heavy trees. Um, from this corner up here where the first rocks start down and around to the other is the highest concentration of Niala for miles around. They're always in this, they're very secretive. They usually see morning and evening. We are now like an hour and 15 minutes from complete sunset, though it might be early today. Last night, on the way back to the to the ranch, we uh, saw some a nice water buck. There was a Five, together. five bulls together. Yeah. One was very, very nice. We're hoping that they're just over here. But if not, we're looking for Nyala still too. Nyala as well. Yeah. <laughs> Never give up on the Nyala. Yeah. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Zeiss Sport Optics. We make it visible. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Corlane Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle.
but no, there he is. We're gonna leave that one in peace. Okay. He's a respectable bull, but I think we can do better. Okay, he's not, not a lot of, uh, he doesn't have a lot of, uh, yeah, or, or the ivory tips. No, he's a young bull. He's a young bull, yeah. Probably about a 25 inch bull. 25 inch, okay. He's got, he's very, he's, he's fairly heavy on the bottom. Very heavy. Yeah. He hasn't got a lot of, of bell on his horn. Yeah. That's the important part, though, of, of you knowing what you're looking at. And you, you have so many different animals to know about, too. So this area we're hunting on here is, is made up of a bunch of old farms that were bought. Yeah. They were once working cattle and... Cattle or sheep or goat farms. Okay. And just economically, they weren't viable anymore. Right. Yeah, it's the same all over the world. It's I mean, the same it's everywhere, a, yeah. You have to have that scale to, to be uh, profitable. But you were saying now these areas right here, around the the the, the far, like the old farmhouse yeah. and that, the because of the 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 uh, nitrogen and everything put yeah, back the into this the nutrient accumulation, the keeping stock yeah. livestock close to the house, tends to make the grass a lot sweeter and stuff around these old homesteads. So the grazers the grazers tend to come around them. They like yeah. these areas. Huh? Yeah. So we sneak up on a, on these old on these old farmsteads. But it, it's much greener here for sure. So you've got a whole bunch of these little hidey holes everywhere. We're going to be walking up and, and just on the edge here, looking over a cliff down below. There's some openings where Niala, Vili Niala, I've seen Niala, I've seen Waterberg, I've seen Kruger. It's quite a good spot and you can, because of your art advantage, you can see quite well into there. Okay. So three bulls, three Niala, Niala bulls. Yes. One very nice one. Yes. Inaccessible, we can't get closer to them no matter how we try. No, yeah, they don't so, seem to be in any rush, so. No, so I'd rather leave them, we can come back later and hopefully they've moved out of that yeah. spot they're sitting there, comes down a bit lower. 330 yards was all it was, but when you can see a nose or a horn tip or that, you just can't take those kind of shots. It's just too much brush in the way there. Yeah, a lot could go wrong in those 300 yards. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Silver Willow Taxidermy, capturing the memories. Loa Boots, handcrafted in Europe. Deluxe Wall Tents, built in Canada for Canadian conditions.
look good, it look good. Hey, he's very sick, he's very sick. I'm gonna go down there. I have to say congratulations. <laughs> I want to say a bunch of words that I can't put on TV. <laughs> I jumped so hard, I lost them for a minute. But when I shot? Yeah, I mean, I got. I'm sure I got the, the smack and everything. But I, I jumped and, God, that, that 375 is a bark. Oh. Is this the big one we saw before? This is from. Okay, there's a backstory well, here. It's the same. Well, we can't guarantee it, but it looks very really similar. Tell me it's the same one. It'd make a better story. Three years ago. <laughs> 2011, we were here with Wild Horizon, and, and as we were leaving, we seen this gorgeous giant water buck, and I says, I gotta come back for that one. Clint says, it's a good chance this is that buck. <laughs> yeah. With where we saw him before was just on this ridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's phenomenal. <laughs> Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, look at this thing. That thing is... Oh, serious. that is gigantic. I don't know anything about them, but I know what we've seen. And Oh, oh babe. Oh, my God. Wow. And he's tick crusted and he smells awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he come down the hill and doesn't he look like a much taller animal? Than oh, what he is. Look how solid he is. He's just a. But these these are tank. Very thin, look at that. Oh, I can feel his spawn. He's actually thin for a water buck. He was uh, he was old. He's really old. You you told me there are only two degrees of water buck: fat and dead. Fat, but he still looks fat. I mean, look at <laughs> feel, yeah, you can feel a bit of bone, which is not. <laughs> Three seventy five H and H. First animal for me with it. Uh, my uh, Rocky Mountain rifle, and it was just. It wasn't a great, a, a very long shot, uh, 150. That yeah. was that was it. But I mean, uh, it went right where I aimed it. The, the gun handled it beautifully. <sighs> Thank you. Thank okay. you very much, Clint. I'm very glad you got that <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to hunt water back now. Yeah. <laughs> this little pond is now over. <laughs> you, you've been chasing this one for four years. Yeah. Oh. My water buck, 2015. Clint, two boy, Des. Happy chatties. <laughs> <laughs>
away, Closey. He's 20 yards away. Coming right over here. Just behind this bush. I haven't seen the horns yet. Okay. And he piled it. <laughs> oh. He was going. He was going. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I can't imagine what you're doing. I'm shaking and I'm just, oh. <laughs> he was going. He kept backing up. I let him back up he was, once. He was about to spin. And That's what I thought. Yeah. It was like, okay. In my mind, I'm going, can you see the little gap? Take him through the little gap. Well, I asked you at one point, do you want me to take him in the neck? Because I moved up but to his neck. You, you and then when he covered. backed up, and when he backed up once more, then I could see what I wanted here, and that's what I give him again. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, coming up forward. Other side. Yeah, you're good. Oh, thank you. I'm going to give it back. Hey, how do you like that pig? That. <laughs> how do you like that pig? It was right <laughs> Oh my god, I just expected it to go squeal. Oh, I'm ready for saying it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I was not moving because I was sure it was looking right at me. <laughs> well, we took and moved him out so that you could actually appreciate the incredible trophy that we've got here. One thing that you guys do and is that you look to maximize the animal. Yeah. You know, this guy is very old. You can tell by this incredible ear. <laughs> is it that wonderful? I know my taxidermist is going to have a heart attack when he <laughs> when he looks at that, but I want it just like that, Curtis. <laughs> he's he's almost bald up here from from rubbing and, and all, and you know he's 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 bony. He's bony, yeah. His teeth are done. His teeth are completely done. We looked at his teeth. We can take a picture of them just now. How old and, is he? And his horns are starting to brush off. You can see they're starting to yes. go on the top. Yes. How old do you say? nine ten years old nine ten years old so he's lived a full life and this is the kind of trophies that, that, that you guys search for yeah I, I, we, I know I know we were looking for we, I know because you, you you told me to walk away from how many over the last couple yeah. days it's just uh, astounding I think I commented at one point that uh, so I, I people tell me about hunting nine ten days to, to, to see a, a single Niala and we've seen probably a dozen in two days yeah it's just amazing as far as trophy goes, this is remarkable. It, the, yeah, that is out of the wall. He's 29 inches, something like that. He's, he's still active. <laughs> <laughs> still wants to get out of it. It's a slime bucket, you can see from the side. Yeah. They're a spiral horn, so that means that, uh, it means that they're measured on this ridge that travels from the base. Starts at the front? Yeah. It goes the up to the top. all the way up to the top and this guy is in that 29 to 30 inch range just a remarkable remarkable trophy i couldn't be any more pleased and, and i'm telling you i love hunting with you because <laughs> i mean you you get as excited as sandy and i do thank you very much man Pleasure. thank you <laughs> Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. 
At Wild Horizon, Guy and Clint understand how special a trip to Africa is. It is their goal to make your adventure everything you want it to be. They don't do cut rate package plans, they do hunt of a lifetime plans. For more information on hunting with Wild Horizon, you can contact Guy from their website at wildhorizon.co.za. Check us out online at OutdoorQuestTV.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.